Hi again. Remember how Avi's teacher had promised to tell her about the remaining phylums on another day? Well, that day has arrived. Avi is back in the biology lab with her teacher. The first specimen that Avi is going to examine today is an earthworm. Earthworms belong to the phylum Annelida. Organisms belonging to this phylum have soft, moist skin, and it is the skin through which they take in oxygen and give out carbon dioxide. Annelida have ring-like compartments called segments. The leech, which is a parasite, also belongs to the phylum Annelida. Their second specimen for the day is the shrimp. Shrimp belong to the phylum Arthropoda. Interestingly, Arthropoda is the largest phylum of invertebrates. They are found almost everywhere. The main identifying feature is their jointed appendages. What are jointed appendages? You wonder. Well, jointed appendages are outgrowths that arise from the body. These outgrowths have joints present in them. Arthropods' bodies are divided into three segments: the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. They have a hard external covering made up of chitin, which is like a protein. Cockroaches, spiders, butterflies, crabs all belong to the phylum Arthropoda. The third specimen for today is the snail. Snails belong to the phylum Mollusca. All organisms that belong to this phylum have soft, unsegmented bodies. Some of them, like snails and even oysters, have hard external shells. And some creatures from this phylum, like the giant squid, can grow up to fourteen meters long. Our fourth specimen, a creature with spines, is the sea urchin. Sea urchins belong to the phylum Echinodermata. The organisms of this group, mostly marine organisms, have spines all over their bodies. They also have tube-like feet with sockets to catch and hold their prey. You know what's surprising though? Even starfish belong to this phylum. And with that, Abi has finally learned about all the eight phylums of the group invertebrates. But she still seems to be wrapping her head around the fact that so many organisms exist without spines. How do you feel about it?